Hey everybody, this is Jason, back again with another review. We are continuing on the 11 63 episode 5, and this is titled The Truth. And this one's another good one, so uh, we'll just go ahead and get right into it. In the last episode, you noticed that um, Sadie had gone down to the basement and heard those the Russian tapes and kind of looked at um, Jake when he walked in saying, Who are you? And this picks up right at that point, and he tries to explain to her as she's running out the door. He runs up to her and actually uh, catches up to her and says, you know, to her to, to hold on. This is this is just a uh, like a Russian soap opera that he was listening to on the radio. Um, of course, she doesn't believe him at this point. Everything that um, she feels that everything he says to her is is complete lie. So. She slaps him in the face and runs off. Um, he goes back in, and she was bringing him a casserole. Um, and he took it and just threw it away. So I kind of found that a uh, pretty good uh, job at acting because you really, it made you really feel that, you know, he loved her a lot and did not want to see this happen. Um, he may not liked her casseroles that she cook for him uh but at this point you you feel that okay this relationship's over with and for him he needs to just move on he needs to um he needs to g get on with the mission that's at this point what, the way you feel you feel like okay this is done with Sadie which it's not um spoiler alert um but he said he needs to move on with the mission the cool thing about this episode and other episodes is the way that they bring in um, the present with the past. So what I mean by that is, you know, it will show 2016, it will cut in uh, clips of Al and, you know, the way Al was discussing uh, some of the things that he had to deal with in the past himself. And also, um, you know, and this is a way to keep uh, Chris Cooper into the episodes. So I thought that was really cool. Um, but the next uh, part of the episode, uh, this is where Jake finds out that Deke had um, found out about those Russian tapes for, through Sadie. And he's like, look, Jake, I've already, I've already uh, bailed you out of jail. Uh, Cause he got arrested. I don't know if I meant, I didn't mention this in the previous one, but he got arrested after the, uh, the Dallas whorehouse that he went into um, and he was bailed out by Deke. He's like, I've already bailed you out here. Um, I cannot help you out right here because um, of course this just sounds too weird. He can't have this kind of stuff happen in his school and he recommends that he just leave. Instead of him firing him, he recommends that he just leave the school and he does just that and he is ready to move full time over to uh, over to to Dallas so he could spy and snoop on uh, George DeMarn Shield and Lee Harvey Oswald. It shows a clip where Al is discussing that he admits that he was never able to exactly um, catch Lee Harvey Oswald uh, attempting to assassinate uh, General Walker. And that is key in this uh, entire series to for them to find out if Lee Harvey Oswald is the uh, killer. Like I said before, if they can prove that Lee Harvey Oswald shot that weapon at George, uh, I'm sorry, at the general, then they are comfortable enough to kill him, assassinate him right there on the spot. And unfortunately, um, there's no proof at this point. Um, so that's what happens. Uh, Bill and Jake head over uh, to that part of Dallas and go uh, snoop on the house where the general lives. And they're planning on um, going over there at a certain time. And that's where um, the episode's going. Um, the cool thing about this episode, I forgot to mention also, is that uh, James Franco actually directed this one. So there was a slight different feeling to this episode that I felt that he brought to it. So I really like that. The fact that um, he, James Franco you know, was so into this, um, the series, uh, enough to want to direct an episode. 
So I thought that was pretty cool. And he was also um, involved in a lot of the other episodes as well. He may have not directed the other episodes, but he did uh, have a lot of say um, how things went. And I uh, personally witnessed that um, when I was in Dallas the whole week filming, uh, noticing that he may have not been um, directing those scenes that we were filming, but um, he did do a lot of um, talking to the director and, and the producer. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Now here's where it gets pretty exciting in this episode. Um, so Jake is clearing out his stuff from his house over in Jody when he receives a phone call from um, Sadie's husband slash ex-husband, however you want to call it. Um, so Johnny uh, tells him, pretty much threatens him, hey, you need to come over to uh, Sadie's house right now. So that's what happens and it's pretty uh, pretty gruesome what happens here. Um, so at this point, Jake has to tell Bill that he's got to handle um, George. I'm sorry, I, I keep saying that. Uh, General Walker, he needs to uh, take care of that himself because he's got to take care of, of Sadie. And so that's where they split off right here. Um, so that's was it's, it's actually unfortunate that had to happen. But, um, but yeah, um, once he gets to the door of Sadie's house, um, it was just, again, it's, it's very creepy scene. Um, this entire part of the episode is very creepy. So as he enters the house, he notices that Sadie is tied up and she's bleeding from her face. And upon looking at her closely, she's been cut from her scalp down to her chin um, it's a pretty gruesome uh, look, so I thought they did a good job at uh, making it believable. And also, I got to give a shout out to uh, T.R. Knight. He's the one that plays um, Johnny in here, and this guy is crazy. And you, you've kind of seen him throughout the entire series, you know, kind of uh, here and there, and also snooping around. Um, and he always had this creepy uh, look, but. And now it just goes over the top right here with this. Um, Johnny pours a glass of bleach and he tells Jake to drink it or he's going to shoot her dead. Um, and again, that kind of, uh, it kind of leaves a creepy feeling um, watching that because you don't know what's going to happen, honestly. Is he going to drink it? He doesn't want her, her to die. But uh, at the moment that you think he's about to uh, drink it, there's... Uh, the a couple kids from the school knock on her door and it kind of uh saved a little bit of time so they take care of them and when he comes back over there the uh he actually takes that glass that he's holding and he throws it all over uh johnny his face and of course it's um bleach so it burns you know him and uh and to make it kind of uh, a short story a little bit uh they kill him and um of course uh she has to go to the hospital um and because she's pretty much in critical condition at this point and she's losing a lot of blood but this entire uh episode i do got to give credit to tr knight like i said before uh he did do an outstanding job with uh him with this character right before this scene i forgot to mention that uh it shows a scene where Bill, you know, I want to like Bill, and I do overall, but he does some stupid things, and maybe because he just doesn't understand. He's from that era. He doesn't um, know what the consequences could be, but he has a cigarette with um, Marina Oswald while, Os while Lee Harvey Oswald's um, taking a nap. So they're sitting on the little stairwell, and Lee wakes up. And I'm, it's cringeworthy to watch because you're just pulling your hair out going, Bill, get... It gets worse, trust me. But, you know, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, the only thing that he was uh, wanting to know who he was, and, you know, he said that he's the neighbor from downstairs and he was looking for um, some ice because his uh, freezer wasn't working. And that's where Lee Harvey Oswald asked him if he's read anything by uh, Karl Marx. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, the whole thing is, is it's cringeworthy, but again, it gets worse. So at this point, it's not terrible, but it's, I, I know why they had to do it. They, they really, they had to make it tense, which they, they sure did it, in my opinion. They sure made it very tense. Um, but okay, so now back going to the hospital, um, he sees, Jake sees the yellow card man as Sadie is, um, going to surgery and they, they're telling him that unfortunately uh the they don't have the um they, they're not gonna be able to make it a hundred percent better but they're gonna try their best at this point they're just trying to make her uh live that's what that's the key here but jake is with deke and the door locks behind them and he when he sees the yellow card man on the other side of that door, he takes that as a sign, like, oh my gosh, I need to, to stop them from this surgery. Uh -huh. And he's slamming his door, the, the door with his fist, and, you know, ha making them try to open that door. So she went through the surgery fine, but they were able to notice that the oxygen or something was, was turned off, so it actually was, um, there was something wrong with it, so... Um, so whatever at this point the yellow card man again is um mysterious you don't know what to expect from him and i've kind of glossed him over a little bit but maybe it by the at at the end of this um series i'll discuss him a little bit more in detail um compare him to the uh, yellow card man in, from the book and see the differences but from this point we we just won't discuss it too much um so basically, uh, this is when Jake looks at the time and notices that the that it's like nine o'clock, and this is when uh, Lee Harvey Oswald supposedly um, is going to attempt to kill the uh, the general. Um, but he receives a call from from uh, Bill, and unfortunately, when he was over there supposed to watch. There was, uh, the past again is messing with him. And, uh, there's a church service that happens, you know, over there in the church. They're getting, they're coming out of the church and he thinks he sees his sister Clara. Unfortunately, while he's looking over there thinking it's her, uh, then he finds out it's not really her. Um, it's, it's too late. The, the bullet has been, um, shot and Lee Harvey Oswald or any nobody else is is around so he totally uh missed the opportunity on this um but you can't really blame him because again the past um doesn't like things to be changed that's the, the entire plot here in this in this series is is this and I've kind of glossed that over too a little bit but this is just one example um so Jake you know he hears this news and he drops the phone and walks slowly off um, so basically it doesn't really, um, end on a cliffhanger here. It ends where, uh, he, he talks to her and this is another problem I have at the end of it is this is where, um, she finds out that he's from the future and she kind of joking, joked about it a little bit. So, but it still is weird how. They would take this news, you know, pretty lightly and like it's no big deal. Um, but they only got about an hour on each episode and it has to be done. So that's, you know, and it, it's time for her, him to tell her. If he really loves her the way he does, she's going to have to know. But, you know, they could have explained it a little, or a little better, especially when she's in the hospital bandaged, bandaged up. Um, so that's how it... it uh, it ends that way, so it's um again it doesn't leave you on a cliffhanger, but with all the action going on in this episode, um it's actually it was a, a decent ending, um, but it still uh made you want more. Uh, you know, and, and you were ready to go watch the next episode. Which I sure was. Alright. Um well I give this episode a eight out of ten, very strong eight. Um a lot of action happening here. Haven't had this kind of action um, since episode two. Um, but yeah, this one's definitely a must watch. Uh, it will make you, um, 
again, want to watch the, the rest of the series. So this is episode five. So we have three more episodes to finish off. And we will discuss that um, in the near future. We're going to finish this off. Um, and we'll see what we can do after that. All right. Thanks, everybody. And if you could subscribe to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash DVD Review Dude. Uh, also, please subscribe here. Um, share the video. Give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that. Very much. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. And we'll talk to you next time when we talk about episode six. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.